we wouldn't have been able to run a trip like this without Dragon Trip. The knowledge, the expertise, the awareness, their organisation, simple things like how you know having the coaches there as soon as we arrived at the airport to take us straight to the hotel, through to the more sort of complicated things about making sure we have all the right food for all our students with different allergies and that sort of thing. It's it means that we can focus on looking after the kids and the trip itself is organised by the staff of Dragon Trip. We can just focus on helping the kids have a good time. I think the Dragon Trip did a really good job at facilitating this. I think the, the key thing is, is having really, really good guides that have that local knowledge and being able to take us to these places and, and being able to speak about some of the experiences and, and sharing that local knowledge. I think that's absolutely key in order for these experiences to work, is having those people who, who know what they're talking about. The main reason we come on a trip like this is so that pupils get an experience of what, of outside of their school life and of outside of, of what they would normally do in school. Um, we have a thing called Week Without Walls, which is where they get outside of school and experience different things. So it really is outside of any of their normal subjects. The students get to practice or, or get to develop their skills and competencies, such as dealing with challenges, time management, and also social interactions, which are key skills and competencies that we look for across many, many subjects. So I think these type of programs connect really well to many subjects and many facets of school life.